Hey, fellow agents. This is Agent Smith, and we are going to be playing some Fallout 76. So I've been playing for a little bit, but I realized that this mission is going to take me to a place I've been wanting to check out and explore, as well as part of all of the stuff that we've been doing, working with Rosie and everything. I myself earlier came on today, make sure I don't die. And I have been working on... There's somebody here. Been working on uh, my dailies and stuff, so I don't have anything left for the daily today. But that was yesterday's, and it'll reset in 40 minutes, which I'm waiting for. And the weeklies also started, so I've been working on those, which is not too much to do. i got to build some camps, things like that. Boring stuff that i got to run around and do. But, nonetheless, wanted to go ahead and work this mission, so I came to this location. Looks like somebody else is here, and I have a feeling it's probably the guy that was following me a little earlier. Maybe not. So, Death's Embrace roaming around. So we're here at uh, the Sons of Dane. I've been here once before on my map. It required me to come here for an event. There's an event that can play out here that's actually quite difficult. But Rosie wants us to get some explosives together. And apparently the supplies that we need are actually here. As well as uh, a Tinker's Bench to make them. So it might also trigger the event itself. You never know. Um, but if it does, then that's good. Let me double check to make sure everything is set right. Monitors off. All the volumes are set. Alrighty, and if it's too loud or anything's weird about this, just let me know. The chat is always there. I've enlarged the size of the text because I've been doing VR stuff. I keep hearing people walking around me. Oh my goodness. I don't expect this to be a very long stream, a couple hours maybe. I'm going to try to cut it back from my normal long ones I've been doing lately. So I can start doing other things. My live stream for VR worked successfully last time. And uh, I liked it. I was happy for that. Yeah, now I find a glowing one. <laughs> I was looking for a glowing one or a glowing anything, to be honest, uh, a while ago. Hey, bubblegum. Keep that for later. Hello. All the stuff we need in one spot. Although it seems like this place might be a little dangerous. I'm gonna check everything out, make sure it's safe in here. Alright, end up getting ambushed. Yep, I want that guy would have took me out in a suck second. Like no effort whatsoever for him. I don't care how strong I get, those charred guys are no joke. Grognak. Come at the trickster. Um, it's getting close to me needing to update my uh, my book collection. <coughs> Ooh, <coughs> don't slow breathe. <laughs> Allow uh, corn kernels to trickle down your throat. Not a good idea. I did finish my, uh, well, not finish, but I got the ones that mattered to me. My perception, my bobblehead, excuse me. I finally got the ones to create this special. And I'm very happy about it. I'm very happy. It took a minute trying to figure out how to organize it properly to make sure that it looked right. And had, um, had them in the correct order. Because there's seven of them. So I wanted to make sure the seven actually lined up properly in the middle row. Because the top floor of the of the bobblehead display is six seven seven, so you get a total of uh, thirty, no, twenty, twenty bobbleheads that you can show off on a single case. I was like, I gotta make sure these line up properly. Must be in the bathroom. You're gonna get it. Boom. P.U. <laughs> uh, you know, there's some silly stuff I see when I run around in this world. I should be taking photographs of all the craziness I get and start posting it up on Twitter and stuff like that, what most people do. Humorous, humorous uh, situations you come across playing this. Oh, this stuff is way over. 
Let me move me over a little. That's a little bit better. All right. Uh, oop, broke it right off the bat. Yeah, I came on here and I was like, let me get these out of the way since uh, I'm awake. And there's a whole bunch of dailies I missed yesterday. Uh, doing live stream of uh, VR tests and stuff. Plus a bunch of other things I had to do for my family that was uh, eating up my time. But combined together, I didn't do my normal. I didn't do my normal uh, 12 hour or 12 o'clock time frame stream. Oh, come on. Thank you. Like, it's not that hard. The only thing I had to do, I did have to change, and I can actually bring it back on. Uh, I tested out that music last time, so that didn't work. I do have a new music station called Pretzel. I can put that on in the background, but it's not appropriate to this world, so... If you guys are interested in Pretzel music, let me know. I could put that in. We'll just do -do -do. Put that up at about 50% volume. That way we have something. All right, let's go ahead and check out Dane Rogers' computer uh, terminal here. So these are the Sons of Dane, some sort of biker group. I'm gonna see if I can look into all of them. Like I said, I've been over this place before. I was like, oh man, I'd love to know more about these people. And I bet I would have some people that might be interested in seeing about them. Okay, no more mistakes. Can be made. Um, and there's not a lot of options for clearing duds. Oh my goodness. I have to do some educated guessing here. Oh, I was hoping that was part of it. It is not. You tried? Resources, retreat, murderous. Murderous gave us two. The best was retreated. But it has to be this, right? Hmm. No, nothing on here lines up. How did retreated get three likenesses? Is it after all? Re oh, I saw. I skipped over that one. That should have been my second choice in. All right, let's read about the Sons of Dane. Sons of Dane's communications. The beginning. <clears throat> to all Sons of Dane. The beginning. Brothers, I want to welcome you all to the beginning of our very important movement. A movement that will lead us to being truly free from the oppressive grip of a government that is no longer on the side of the people. Clarksburg taught us a valuable lesson. No longer can we sit complacent and wait for armed men to break us apart, seize our land, or murder our ranks in cold blood. The sons of Dane recognize no government that continues to drive our great nation into the abyss and will fight to the death for what is rightfully ours. This compound represents more than the land it sits upon. It represents freedom. It represents opportunity. And after the inevitable collapse of the organized society as we know it, it will represent the future. Join me tonight at Buck's Den, brothers. Join me for an evening of food, entertainment, debauchery. Why'd I go British on that? <laughs> and drunken revelry. Join me to celebrate a day of glorious rebirth as the sovereign citizens of the Sons of Dane. There's a lot of S's in there. Supplies. Uh, this is coming from one of the guys. Dane, we just took inventory of the supplies we got from the gentleman who generously donated his land to the, to the cause. We got plenty of water, but we're going to need a lot more food if we're going to survive in the bunkers for a meaningful amount of time. And a shitload more booze if we're going to do it without killing each other. Our journey to self-sufficiency starts today. Weaker men would stock up at a, ra uh, at a Red Rocket mega stop down the road, but we're not weak men. 
I see you in the hunting grounds, brother. He replies, how long? This is a reply from Dane. Brother, you're a free man like the rest of us, so you can do what you like. But if you fuck with the compound while we're gone, I'll kill you myself. And this is the message that was sent to, to prompt that weird, weird order I read that in. Boss. Jackson said we're gonna be crammed together in some bunker and the bombs hit when the bombs hit until it's safe to go outside. What? Can I just say, can I just stay out here? I, I won't mess with nothing like you guys or while you guys are gone. And he gave him permission to, but he'll fuck him up if he does. <laughs> A new start from Dane. Brothers, I welcome you to the new world. A world full of a government that works against the people. We went underground as slaves, and we have now emerged as free men. We have much to do. We have food, water, and now even power. But we must focus on more than survival. We must thrive in this new world. We have been given an opportunity to be the men we were truly meant to be. This will mean hard work for everyone. But nothing great in life ever comes without true dedication. Tonight we celebrate in Buck's Den to the future. Guard duty from Clem. Boss, listen, you know I'm a loyal soldier. I've been with the Sons since the beginning, and I've done everything you said with no, no complaining. I'm real grateful that you saved all our lives and all that by getting us underground when the bombs hit. I know I've done brought this up three times, but now, but I can't. Can I please switch away from the night shift po guard post at the west gate? I'll do whatever it takes. It's just that I swear there's something out here at night, something out to get me. It's real fast and it makes these crazy noises. Every morning I see these animal corpses and completely gutted, like something's eating them raw. You know, a hunter or bear gonna jack them up that bad? I told Vern he said uh, I was just making this up so I can party at the at Buck's Den with everybody else at night. <laughs> That's bullshit. There's something out there and nobody believes me. Surviving for so long underground won't mean shit if we all get eaten by some crazy night demon. There is a night demon. It's a whole entire thing. Dane's Journal. First Dead. We were partying in Buck's Den's beer hall when the, th the thing busted its way inside. It was late, real late. The lights were low and most of, the, of us had passed out. It grabbed Jackson by the leg and swung him against the wall, smashing his brains out before he even had a chance to shout. I swear, I put six bullets in the thing, but it didn't drop. By the time we got to the lights back on, Jackson's body and the creature were gone. All that was left was a pool of blood. Now Vern's gone. It's been a while since what happened to Jackson. A week, maybe ten days. We heard scraping on the barn wall and we knew the thing was out there. Hungry. Polly led a, yelled at Vern. Led. <laughs> Polly yelled at Vern to cut off the damn music, but Vern wasn't, no, wasn't there no more creature pulled his dumb ass right through a window. We readied our guns, but Vern must have been enough. It's, it's picked us off, picking us off one by one. I suddenly lost the ability to read. <laughs> Cold trail. I decided enough is enough. We need to track that son of a bitch down and end it before, before we all ended up uh, like Jackson and Vern. Angie is the best, the best damn tracker in Appalachia. And it didn't take long to spot the creature's path. We followed the tracks for a while, and then it just ended. Like the thing vanished. Now I'm starting to think that this thing ain't dumb. Maybe it wanted us to follow to see how many of us there were. We decided to get back to the compound before dark. Night Stalker and by Angie. So... Angie is jamming on her guitar around midnight when our hunter busted in. She cracked it over the head with her six string, but it just got pissed. It tore her chest open in one clean swipe like gutting a deer. 
We often fire. We open fire. We often fired. <laughs> we open fire, but just like before, it was gone. And so is poor Angie. Thing keeps hitting us after dark, and the suns are now calling it the Night Stalker. Whatever it is, we need to kill it before we all end up as food. Calling all hunters. Jackson, Vern, Angie, and now Clam and Beaks. The Night Stalkers decided to take two more sons of the beer hall tonight. From the beer hall tonight. There's only a handful of us left, and I don't know how to stop it. If we don't do something fast, the sons of Dane are gonna be worm food. I'm gonna set up a message and broadcast it for help. We need a serious hunter to take down the Night Stalker. We need one fast. Uh, I think that's for downstairs, but I already opened that with my pick lock, so I'm good. Whew. Took a minute. A lemon ball. All right, so anyway, we got the supplies we need. We are now learning what's going on in this place. I knew it had something to do with some kind of Night Stalker thing, because there is a mission that brings you out here for uh, daily uh, that involves hunting a creature. I didn't get to see what it looked like, honestly. There was like 15 people in here the last time I did it. Uh, doing dailies around the world is just a way to fill in my stuff for this score challenge, but uh, it is dangerous up in this buck's den. We'll go in there last and check the other building, get the things I need, and then go in there and explore it more thoroughly when I'm not running for my life and getting chased down by everything that moves in there. That, that was intense. I was getting my ass handed to me. It was almost nothing but uh, bloated um, uh, ghouls coming in. Which, for me, is like, if you don't get them one hit before they see you, then you're not going to survive. A legendary. You didn't even have a legendary item. Ooh. You usually have a legendary item on them. Oh, I better clear the area before I uh, start reading. It's not safe yet. Ooh, thank goodness I had a little bonus. I recently took in, so I've been working my character stats, too, as I go. I'm at level 69 now. I don't know where I was last I played. Probably two levels back. But uh, I've been working into uh, luck. I've had interest in... Uh, it's cute. I've had interest in luck uh, stuff, that abilities, should I say. So I've been putting in a mysterious stranger, a mysterious savior. just think that'd be fun to have. I might actually switch some things around that I've got going on. I took off a bloody uh, mess perk. I think I'm going to be working into Psychopath and uh, one of the critical hit ones. It scared me. <laughs> Just do this from here. Get a little less radiation. Anyway, I think it'll just be amusing having it on there. Again, I don't know how much I'm going to still keep doing these, but at the same time, I think it's fun to do the storyline ones. I do this game on my own, and when I get a chance, I try to do a couple hours of stuff with you guys. I'm not too busy with work or other things. Uh, Alright, so now that it's clear, I'll read this message. <laughs> My whiskey. Carl, you know anything about why the barrel whiskey I paid you for tastes like piss? You can get a little too drunk and mistake the mistakes. <clears throat> mistake the still for an outhouse again? God, I can't read today. Probably because you wouldn't know a uh, good hooch if bit you in behind, you old fool. Okay. You need to make a bad hooch. Piss whiskey. Pisky. Whiskey? Haha! <laughs> Even better. <laughs> I like it. Uh, nope, nothing else. I need to craft. This is way different than it was before. So Rosie's had missions where she goes, you go out and do very specific things. And originally you had to hunt down a very specific Yagwai. Uh, it turns out now, you can hunt down just about any Yagwai. Um, explosive bait, that's what I need. There she is. Now she had me come here to get this done. Great. You've got yourself some gross meat-covered explosives. But now what? 
Well, use your imagination. The tracker sure did. Any hungry carnivore is sure to be drawn in by the smell of fresh meat. Okay. So this one time Chuck, he was the guy who came up with this crazy idea. He laid out explosive bait along the trail after a raid. Then, when the responders came looking for us with their tracking dogs, well, let's just say the hounds lost their scent. You know, because their heads were blown off. <laughs> Whatever. You get what I'm saying. I don't care what you use your bait on. Just use it to kill some things that would kill and eat you. Let me know how it works for you. So you used to have to use a very specific set of mole rats in a particular location. So now they just want me to throw out the bait on anything. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is exactly the reason why I use the overlay instead of the... Because I could have this set up to look like that, but I would have not noticed that movement in the corner of the screen. Alright, load up the bait, and I just need to throw it at an enemy that is interested in bait. Let's see what it does. We'll keep working our way around these um, buildings and structures before we work our way into the center. The center where all the death happened. Free glass. Plus we get a little bit more of the story. I think that seems to be the best way to rotate around here. Polly Keith's terminal. He wasn't about the security, I guess. These entries will be from October 11th through the 30th. This homestead sure is one hell of a find. Isolated, defensible, and abandoned. All we had to do was, was march in and grab a place. It's as if someone left us a gift. Dane said we should move right, move in right away. And by the time the authorities figure out what we've done, we'll be dug in and ready for action. We took a vote, and we all agree. This is where the sons of Dane are planting their flag. Four days later. We've set up hunting parties to bring food into into the compound. The sons of Dane do not shop on a grocery at a grocery store. Our goal is establishing a 100% self-sufficient community. There's fresh water nearby, and the woods are fully stocked with game. When the storm comes, and society collapses, we will be ready. I am thirsty. Five days later, I could hear the drip noise. Dane said that we turned the old barn into a beer hall. We usually like to get rowdy outside by a bonfire, but we decided to keep things low-key. Bringing the party indoors will make drinking safer, plus it can give us a place to store the beer we've been, we've been hauling. This place is getting better by the day. Three days later. <laughs> then bombs fell the day. Society as we know it is done. Even after all the explosions and shaking uh, ground, our compound is safe. Dane, after all his uh, pro prophesizing, yeah, prophesizing, and his speeches, kept his word. He's delivered us from destruction. We decided to lay low for a few days and let the chaos die down before we explore our new world. Glad we stockpiled those hazmat suits. Seven days later. It has, I'm sorry, I gotta go back. The bombs dropped and they were out with, man, I guess it didn't hit this area at all that bad for people to be rolling out only a couple week or so later. I mean, the water's still irradiated, so it can't be that bad. I keep noticing that, though. That's a cycle around here. Pretty much any method of bunkering down in this part of America would have kept them safe, and, and then people survived. Long enough to write messages and shit. Anyhow... This game is almost like a history of how raider groups became a thing. Because a lot of the raider groups and stuff and a lot of the settlements that are in the Fallout universe would have existed for quite some time to be where they were. They weren't just like vault dwellers. They were the people who didn't make it in and survive. So, anyway. It hasn't taken us long to discover that uh, living in this new world isn't going to be simple. The game we were dependent on for food is gone. The fresh water is tainted from radioactive poison. If we want to survive, our kind needs to adapt. Dane's ordered us to pair up and find supplies. Taking them, uh, taking them, taking them using any means necessary to get what's ours. Now, the fight, the fighting really begins. Huh. So that fills in a little bit of gap of time. He keeps saying there's a bunker. So, 
There's got to be a bunker. They didn't hole up in that building. I want to know where this bunker is. <laughs> Let me down inside. There's only this compound. Is not going to be enough? I mean, I guess for the, the sheer wall face, they are kind of in a canyon. Blocked in on two, two, or, two or three sides. Should be enough. Get back down. You two. Oh, shit. There we go. I gotta keep using my crits, because that's one of the weekly achievements, is uh, 25 criticals. Or weekly challenges, should I say. And that's not too difficult to get. Uh, excuse me, just reach over you and get the rat away there. That guy was investigating the soap quite deeply with a magnifying glass and soap in the shower. What kind of funny games they're playing in here. <laughs> Canned dog food. Okay. Other than checking the outpost for ammunition, we can go... Oh, okay. It comes from around this way. We can go and uh, check out the... main beer hall. Where all the action went down. Hopefully it doesn't trigger an event. I don't know how many people are interested. I mean, I'll take the event happily. I need to uh, do... Eight more this week, I think. But it's usually something they ask for. So I'm not really in a rush to push them out of the way. It is a... A request they make pretty much every day. Work the outside. They had this place set up a security all well I guess so too if they're gonna be getting attacked like that they probably would have security set up all around the edges that would be that would suck to be the same guy who has to do this on a regular basis every day I gotta walk around everybody else having fun playing music and stuff that was their first mistake it must be inside Oh, it's a Wendigo. Shit. Uh, that's only gonna piss it off. Bring it on, Wendigo. I don't know I'm here. Haha, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> These things can be kind of tough. They're mostly just fast. Mostly. Alright, yeah. Yeah, I don't, uh... I wish that I could have kept playing the 40s music I was doing. I got like six copyrights uh, hits off of that supposedly... Uh, not royalty-free. It wasn't royalty-free, it was... Public Domain claimed to be a station full of public domain. Now, I did play for something like five hours, four or five hours, and I only got six hits during that time. So that's not bad. It means a majority of their stuff is clean, but the site's probably really old. And that's the only reason why I don't have uh, 40s music in the background today. I'm trying to find a place where I can get some royalty free. Put in something that sounds similar to the time frame, and I did find service that works. It doesn't charge me. Uh, Pretzel Rocks app is actually pretty decent, but Pretzel Rocks app also uh, does not really have 1940s sounding music in it. So, unfortunately, no, uh, nobody's making that kind of style anymore, which is sad. It would be really cool if I were able to get a hold of some. What's oh, it? Engine, okay. It'd be really cool if I can get a hold of some uh, some um, postmodern jukebox, man. Oh man, that would be cool. But of course, that's again copyrights on like two levels. Not only are they doing a song, they're doing a song. Um, huh. Uh oh. Uh, Yep, they sure do. Alright. 
There is a chopper coming. I can't wait till these are actually Brotherhood of Steel. Come fall. Brotherhood of Steel is going to be back in this area. New stories to add to the game. New faction to play along with. So where did they bunker down? Is there a hole in this wall? I just don't get how they were doing it. Underneath his basement, I guess? Hey, hey. He had a nice little base here. I'm surprised you can't use this. You know what's going to end up happening? This is going to get taken by somebody later down the line. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, it would, later when they, uh, when the other expansions come rolling along, this place is probably going to become a base. It's built like one. A lot of good scrap here if you like that kind of, you need this kind of scrap. Yeah, I'm still not seeing where they would have bunkered down at, though. There's no... There's no place underneath everything. They built this facility afterwards or beforehand. I don't even know. Oh, well. I got what I need. Let us go and throw some bait at a creature. Also drink some water. I wonder if it's going to give me a recommendation of where to do that. The heaviest meal. Wolf ribs. Where does she recommend? Any creature? Anywhere. No? Oh yeah, that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea at all. There's a lot of creatures supposed to show up over there. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, oh. I didn't know that you can build there either. That's new. More new. Oh, no mind. Hemlock. <laughs> Wrong place. <laughs> I'm very aware that you can do that there. I keep thinking that's the amusement, the water park. I'm like a whole entire lake away from the water park. <clears throat> Camera down. There we go. That is the coolest. The second, the second uh, Scorch Beast I've been able to take down by myself. I really like that shot. Uh, you can't really see me, but I'm right there up front. I took that guy down by myself, and he ended up landing in a sitting position against that wall. I was like, nice. Thanks for posing. With his claws, his wings splayed out in front of him. <clears throat> it was a pretty good shot. This is Ruffin's Mare. I need you to get up to Cricket Sports. Yet another set of remains has been okay. unearthed. We need to honor that soldier by giving him a proper burial at the battlefield cemetery. I haven't fully explored, oh, never mind. I have explored this town, but I haven't really fully explored a lot. My God, this water's horrible. <laughs> I haven't explored everything there is to do all around here. I don't know if it matters what I throw the bait at, but I have a feeling they're trying to get me triggered on a particular spot with a large number of uh, enemies in it. Find a way across this river. A radiated thistle. Somebody's nuked this area recently. Yeah, there must be a centralization spot up here. It tends to be when they do this, they're trying to get you to go to this location because there's a lot of animals that hang out in that spot. Usually in the lake is another good one where uh, if you'll find one bear or a batch of uh, deer all of a sudden there'll be like a good 20 animals all in that area tons of deer and bear wolves all fighting over the meat and you just throw a grenade in the middle of that and come walking away with some deliciousness take some of that Let's hear it for brutal efficiency. 
I don't think it was very efficient. Ooh. As cool as the trappers were, the diehards were the exact opposite. Don't let their name fool you. Okay. We called them that because their stubborn asses refused to give up their dignity and couldn't bear what is this? unprovoked violence. <laughs> Pacifists. I don't know much about their special tactics. Did they have any? I don't know. Huh. Go find a death claw and make friends with it or something. It's the stupidest quest. But thankfully I've got this super shotgun. <laughs> I call it that because I've had very little issue taking anything out with it. As long as I aim. Um, interesting. So last segment for her. I've never seen this up here. Am I able to build here? Like, yeah, I can pretty much right outside this thing. Could I make this part of my home if I wanted to? I'm not going to actually move me. I sure can. I drop my camp right in the middle of this. That's pretty cool. Where am I on the map? The peak. Between the turtle and the dome. The turtle dome. Alright, so anyway. She recommends I go to... Uh, uh, woo a... Uh, a death claw. Yep, and I was going to say. They usually put you... The recommendation is usually there. Adaptable harp. 54. Let's see if he's got a group. What I'm doing is trying to save a buck. It's full. Damn it. That's a shame. Well, either way, he's close enough to where I want to be. Hmm. Technically, her place is closer to what I want to be at, so I think I'm going to do it from Rosie's side. Plus, I'm be in the area anyway. If I remember correctly, I got to make friends with him, but I got to get close enough to him. I think I have to go up and touch it or something like that. It's dumb. <laughs> I don't get these raider tactics. So her idea is they were a bunch of idiots, so therefore she's going to make me go do some stupid shit. I feel like she's trying to trick me into getting killed so she doesn't have to follow through with her end of the commitment. That circled location is just where a death claw is, typically. I can probably find anyone. I know another one, but he's way strong. I wouldn't want to be the one I touch. But this spot puts me pretty darn close. To one. And hence why I chose taking it. Um, which way? Which way? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to be careful through here. I have seen sheep squat spawn through this area. Down these ski slopes. I am not part of the raiders. I think these raiders are actually technically good raiders. But I have gotten into so many conflicts with them attacking me first. That I'm never going to get my reputation up with them. The only reason I'm trying to get an in with these raiders with Rosie in the first place is so I can finish this mission that says I need to do so. Where? Oh, there you are. Where are you son of a bitch. What are you hiding behind? Where's your friend? out that works for me <laughs> I gotta be careful with the haze coming in like this too it's gonna be tough to get down and still see what I'm doing 
Not here. Too steep. It probably would be a good idea to put my camp here. Give myself some place to spawn easily. If I make a mistake, which I will. <laughs> It should be right here in this cove of trees. Just waiting to get punched in the face. There it is. I'm pulling back as far as I can on each step to try to stay on every little ledge that pops out. Don't kill it. Make friends. Hey, buddy. I'll die. Whew. Now these are raiders I can kill. Hey, good on you for killing one of the nasty creatures out there. I mean, you're fucking nuts for even trying it. But I like that about you. Mm -hmm. So am I good on that aspect? It's probably a good time to teach you that not everyone can be your friend out there. That's the real takeaway from the Die Hard. I don't remember this Moving one. Moving on. Blackwater bandits were known for being sneaky thieves. Let me tell you, they once hit a brotherhood of steel camp. <laughs> Insane, right? They snuck right past the guards and stole guns, ammo, mini nukes, you name it. Right out from under the poor bastards while the rest of them slept. Mm. Next thing you know, the knights moved on out with their tails between their legs. And we had a new arsenal. Well, the Brotherhood's gone, but we still have heavily armed super mutants. Go steal from them. Sneak around. Maybe you won't have to fight them all. But really, all I care about is their gun stash. Might be a good haul, might not. There's only one way to find out. Okay. Zoop. This stash right here? Nice. Easy enough. Just head straight down the hill. Watch this be the cliff I die on. I hate the morning fog like this. This haze is the most annoying weather condition in this entire game. Everything else is not bad. I don't have a problem with it. But this is very difficult to do anything in. It comes around seemingly random. Yeah, that's the beacon right in front of me. I need to invest in a 50 cal uh, ammunition machine. The amount of 50 cal rounds I go through. That's the sound of fox. No, nope. chicken. Huh. That's the first legit animal I've seen. We'll get some chicken thighs. Another one. Only one thigh. I guess it is a mutant chicken. We're gonna eat like normal people tonight. <laughs> Is 
Is there anybody over there? Turrets. There's got to be enemies. It wouldn't give me a caution if it was. There's one. Where's the rest of your friends? Ooh. Guaranteed hitting another critical on my thing. Oh, we're not done. Okay. Oh, fucking floaters. I kind of get a stash while I'm here. Cannibals. Cannibals. I'm not gonna make you eat anyone, but bring, bring that crew back. Anyway, I saw a roaming pack of feral ghouls I want you to hunt down. They're always good for target practice anyway. I'm not saying the gourmands had the right idea. Ugh. But no one can claim they went hungry eating human or ex-human flesh. Just uh, use a toothpick or something before you come back to visit. <laughs> I don't want to catch a whiff of rotting ghoul flesh on your breath. You won't catch a whiff of nothing. You're a fucking robot. Um, there are actually cannibals in some areas. I've come across a group at the bed and breakfast. Hello. Try not to do events I've never done before. But then again, and the locations I haven't seen, I don't really need them right now. There is an air data thing there. I'm sure I'll find a ghoul. Fuck it, let's do it. That was a picture of a mothman. <laughs> I think I'm about to fight a mothman. That's right, I gotta cleanse these things from the earth, otherwise we won't be able to bring in the light of Adam people confused on what they should be worshipping out here. Gather now, faithful followers of the most wise and beneficent Fucking fireflies. The distraction. Oh. I'm supposed to be killing fireflies and and stuff. Okay. Excuse me, firefly. It's gonna do me a lot better if I can see where the hell you went. Hello. Maybe I'll get lucky and find myself a ghoul while I'm at it. I didn't realize there was really going to be someone out here doing this too. Yeah, I criticaled. I criticaled on a... Uh, On an easy kill.
tried to build a house here once. Didn't quite work out. I can pull out like a lesser gun. What am I going to waste my valuable ammo on? Okay. I can't do this one and run. <laughs> Actually, most of the time I can't do any of these and run. This is a lighthouse that actually exists in uh, West Virginia, unless you're, unless you're a person from West Virginia who already knew these things, and I'm wasting my time saying it. Uh, actually exists out there. It had something to do with the college. And a desire to use it for training or education. Hey. This is bioluminescence hanging out on the ground, some of these spots here. <laughs> He's like, I'm using a stinger. I thought I saw a frog. You know, the nice thing is this guy kills everything. It'll still be useful. The bioluminescence. I'm getting over uh, weighed down on here. I'm going to have to break down some of my stuff when I get inside. That's evidence of a nuclear explosion right there. I got a loud gun. I don't know how many we need, but I'm going to go and deposit what we got so far. I'm hoping between the both of us running around in circles and stuff, we've cleared enough of it. If I can just get up enough speed to get inside and drop somebody's off. We've got to be close. There's a bit of a story in this place, and I'll take a look at it right after I finish this. And then we'll get back on track of finding a ghoul. It has to do with that note and some other stuff. I'll take that air sensor while I'm here. Which is part of the reason I came here. I'm like, oh, two birds with one stone style. You send me on a mission nearby where I want to be, that'll work. That's 40. Can't be too far off. Yeah, bring them on up. I don't know what we do after this. <laughs> this is to be the. Oh shit! <laughs> First time I've ever done this mission. Two more. Oh, are you for real? Yeah, you go get them. I can't. I can't jump that jump. I'll die on impact. I can shoot frogs for fun. Not sure what this guy's doing. Is he coming up? 
Yeah, okay, I was gonna say he only needed two. There we go. Lit up the lighthouse. Now it's gonna happen. <clears throat> Nothing good. No, that's it? Oh, it's literally it. Okay. Well then. Let me go ahead and grab this note. I don't think there's anything else up here for reading. It's just the one. Yeah. We'll take a look. Hi, Priestess. I was right. Fireflies come here to mate. They go a little crazy and I go got hurt pretty bad, but I was able to gather enough goo to light a lamp. Now I just have to wait. The great Mothman will come. He has to. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. There's not a Mothman coming. Coming down. I suppose that would be the reason to do it. They're like, yeah, you, brought, you uh, lit the lamp thing and you finished the mission. Does that mean there's a moth? Oh, yep, there he is. There's your Mothman. A wise Mothman. Ooh, wee. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm enlightened now. What does that do? Bonus experience. Oh, that's pretty cool. 5%. That's not a crazy amount. I'll take it. So anyway, that's creepy as fuck. Let's take a photo of the Mothman. I'll stand right here. Turn around. Hopefully he won't disappear before I get a chance to get this photo out. Zoop. I wish he was facing the other way. But that's all good. <clears throat> I shouldn't be taking photos with the enemy. That'll work. Oh, fuck you, frog. I'm busy taking a photograph here. Jeez. Things you gotta do. Things you gotta do to get a photo with the Mothman. I gotta be quick. Yeah. Mothman and Smith. Turn up that brightness because the sun's going down. Saturated a little bit because of the fact that I turned up the, the brightness. Leave the contrast alone. Filter it down to my normal crazy filters. I like nuke. Fades out the background. And a frame. Wrong frame. Oh, daily achievements. Ha <laughs> ha, daily achievements. I forgot. It's past 12 o'clock. Let's see what the new dailies are. Apparently one is take a photo. <laughs> Sweet. One is take a photo for the rest of them. Claim the workshop. I gotta do that anyway. Kill legendary. Level up, which won't take long. Pick a lock. Eventually. Plant crops in a workshop or a camp. Well, there's gonna be a bunch of random crops coming up soon for people. These will be quick and easy. Let's go take a look in the house and see if there was more information. I believe there was. Targets on everything but what I wanted to. It all has to do with the, um, with the lighthouse. Well, basement's not a, basement's a no-go. I'm in danger because something is after me. 
Is it going to come in the house? Recipes I already have, I can sell. Guy <clears throat> already unlocked all this stuff. That's not a lockpick. <laughs> okay, good. All right, let's hack this up real quick. Did I break it? Not quite. I went a little too fast. Can't go too quick. Oh, did I eliminate it down? I was like, why didn't that work? Only one word choice left. <laughs> okay. Tourism guide history. For people who are doing tourisms. Tourist stuff. Welcome to Landview Lighthouse, the most unusual lighthouse in Appalachia. Nestled in the mountains west of Morgantown, Landview Lighthouse offers a beautiful 360-degree view of the surrounding area from its gallery deck. The origins of this la landlocked lighthouse are as unusual as the lighthouse itself. Originally conceived as a theoretic little concept by engineering students from Morgantown, the concept was ruthlessly mocked by students from a rival university. On a dare, the students decided to make the project a reality, and its construction became a point of pride for everyone involved. The project soon took on a life of its own. Overcoming many obstacles, the lighthouse was eventually erected in October of 2036. It was dedicated to Donald and Shirley Jameson. I am like 90% sure this is actually a real landmark already in West Virginia, <laughs> even though it says 2036, but anyway. Uh... It was dedicated to Donald and Shirley Jameson, the two professors who helped spearhead the project from the very beginning. Now retired, the Jamesons live in the nearby house where they serve as lighthouse keepers full time, keeping it functional solely on donation money from visitors. Construction Before construction began, over a year was spent consulting with the lighthouse enthusiast community for general tips, guidelines, and pitfalls to avoid. From these conversations it was it became clear that it couldn't come across couldn't come across as just another tourist trap that you see on a golf course and at, or at a theme park. I don't like the weird wording of that sentence. It was determined that the lighthouse had to serve as a true aid to navigation with a working light and an authentic ar architectural design. It had to have an operating beacon and a 360 degree gallery deck for observation. In other words, if they were going to do it, they had to do it right. Three years later, the completed lighthouse was open to the public. Tourists from all over flocked to the curious structure and raved about the beautiful view of the landscape it provided from atop the trees. Future students continued to develop the landscape over the years by building a lighthouse keeper's house, a picnic pavilion, and a general reforestation to reco uh, recover from previous timber harvests of the surrounding area. Viewing Information Landview Lighthouse is a 102-foot tall structure thousands of feet above sea level, <laughs> with 76 steps to climb for the visitors to reach the stunning 360-degree gallery deck. The second tier lamp from for a room, excuse me, features a rotational beacon capable of projecting a beam for over 25 miles. Guests on the 360-degree gallery deck can enjoy unrivaled views of various landmarks in all directions. Beyond the mountains of the north is Grafton, a major shipping hub and railroad intersection for the area. To the east is Morgantown, home to the Vault Tech University and the founders of this very lighthouse. In the distance is the top of the world, located at the Pleasant Valley Ski Resort, featuring the highest elevation in the region. Looking south, it's impossible to miss the stunning new River Gorge Bridge, one of the longest bridges in the Appalachia. On a clear day, the unmistakable silhouettes of the luxury me mega mansions in Bramwell can also be spotted. The landmarks that uh, can be viewed from the 360-degree 
60 degree gallery deck are too numerous to mention. Under the right weather conditions, guests have a spectacular view of the entire region. Which is barely ever. So there you go. Kind of mixes it up. A little bit to do. They built this for that purpose. The note up there indicates that a family actually continued to try to maintain this. Uh, what was I just tagging on right now? Oh, it's a board. <laughs> and I thought there were more, but they might have been picked up while I wasn't, you know, while, oh, while somebody else was here. Well, the other guy was here, so. I might have missed out on some small story opportunities. Let's take a quick look over at the, uh, over at the tables over here. And see if there's anything left behind story-wise. I went to this place a long time back. Here we go. Where am I? I suppose if you were tripping balls, that would mess with your head. <laughs> anyway, amusing location. Did not have any ghouls. <laughs> I totally thought I'd run into a ghoul up here. I was like, hmm, quest and a ghoul all in one. Well, I can definitely kill some ghouls and some um, legendaries in this one. So we're going to jump over to this quest and kill two I can't fast travel. <laughs> I'm going to lay down my camp. Oh, that's got to go somewhere. What is far enough away from this structure that doesn't count as being here anymore? Since there weren't any workbenches here. Surprisingly, I expected a place like this to have at least one. A cooking station, but I don't think I can break things down in a cooking station. Break down some food. Break down some calories. Oops. Oh, well. I meant to back that up a little bit so the staircase isn't floating over a precipice. <laughs> Drop all my junk. And I guess for the time being I'll have to store the weapons I've found. Uh, yep, 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 yep. That's the one. I know exactly where I can definitely get some ghouls. I'm also trying to kill two birds with one stone style of gameplay where I don't uh, I don't just hit one location and leave it at that. I'm running low on overall equipment space. People have not been buying. I need to move my home into a more I need to move my home into more of a traffic flow of people. I help myself out that way. Anyway, Ah, ah, ah! I missed out on the mission. I don't know about that one. Somebody's doing the mission. That's why. Dang it. That's a really good one, too. You get a lot of legendary kills for that one. The Wolf Horde, if it moved itself already, it's too late to do it then. Oh well. Oh well. Lots of legendaries, though, for that. Any other places? 
we could get ourselves we can definitely get a quick kill here and we can get a few other things done what else do I need for this day a gold star Ooh, complete a bunch of daily challenges well then you got me <laughs> that one's not a daily but I can definitely come over here and take care of this one and I'll be in that region so I can fast travel around the area. Pick its fort, pick up some bones, drop them off. That's a daily quest. Go over and kill some ferals around the uh, picnic grounds, and then there should be a um, there should be a, a pioneer scout leader there to send me off on some side quest or whatever. It's usually a daily. Well, I think it's a simple hunting one. There should also be a hunting quest over there, so we can clear all of that in one spot, and then get back to Rosie. Get her weapon back before she sends a hunting crew out for me. <laughs> I still got her surrender. Mm -hmm. Hello, curator. Hello mm -hmm. there. You you be from the I am. I have a real problem here. While building new outhouses, we discovered the remains of a Civil War Union soldier. Although Activate. the body is highly irradiated and Activate. fresh. It's almost like it died 20 years Activate, ago instead I of guess. 200. Now I need you to properly inter the body in the Philippi Cemetery. Ooh. And it needs to be done before our next reenactment. Okay. Go grab the bones, get them over to the place, drop them off, kill a bear. I've never encountered an enemy up here. Not since the updates. I want to know what they're going to do with this place. If they've taken all of the enemies out of it, what's the purpose? I mean, roaches don't count. <laughs> Oh, barely missed that. It's an interesting segment to go through. I think we've done that live before. A whole bunch of different um, uh, locations to listen to information and learn about the whole Civil War era. I don't think the Civil War actually got to this part, but apparently it's a place. <laughs> apparently it's a thing enough to have in here. I, I forget the story they had. It was kind of silly. I found it amusing. The idea being that there really wasn't any... I am not shooting the right weapon. Where's the other one? There we go. That, uh... Take the ammo. Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. The Calamity Jane that I made is just a weapon. I need to break all of those down, honestly. I'm trying to... Uh, I need to find screws more than anything as much as possible so I can make a bunch of low-cost lever action. Oh, Jesus. Thank God they're not smart. How did he not see me? I need to stop running around these streets, huh? All I knew was a bear was going to be in this parking lot. Because there always is. You ever looking for a bear? Find your hump. You could also blow the vehicles up. It's amusing. He almost always has a map. <laughs> the rest. I don't need that much junk. I already have too much crap as it is. Was that a legendary vicious dog? Nope. It was a diseased vicious dog.
Mm hmm. I thought I got screws and stuff up here, but I guess not. Hey, hey, pick a lock. Air cover in one. Enough exploration to get you everything you need. The challenges for these dailies are just basically the stuff that you normally would do. Other than pulling you off your normal track if you're in a specific area. Picking them off one by one. I still need to kill a legendary. I was hoping that would have been the one. Finish this daily. Pick up some more bobbleheads to sell. Thankfully, they leave a shovel here. Uh, shovel. Place the body. Ah, uh, for real? God dang it. There's usually a shovel right here. Who just steals a shovel? I swear. Wonder if there's one inside. <laughs> so he's in the floor because he's supposed to come out of something up there. But uh, and so the AI had it set to rise up out of the f out of the ground. Um, you know, it kind of freak you out or whatever, but. Uh, because I saw him before he saw me. <laughs> there we go. That's not the way it happened. You have to have a shovel equipped to dig this dirt. Which is just stupid. I had carried one around because I was in this area for so long. That I decided it might as well keep one on me at all times. And a mission complete. Now, uh, after I switch to a weapon of use, we can either run down or teleport. I think I'll run. Unless I need to change my supplies out and get to a nice vantage point and drop all this off. The hell are Meyer Lurks doing all the way up here? Their disease make them decide to, I don't know, hang out in weird locations? Still haven't found a feral ghoul, by the way. <laughs> Ain't that just like a game? I know they're telling me exactly where they are, but they're all over the place, so I shouldn't ever need to just specifically be in a location because they told me that's where I should go. Hello, I know you're here. Where'd you go? There you are. Damn, I filled right up. Ooh, I'm really liking this psychopath thing. Mm-mm-mm. I am gonna have to definitely keep increasing on that. Oh, somebody took down a bat here. I mean a Scorch Beast. That explains why they're Scorched here. Detected by what? Oh, it's a deer. <laughs> and I just aggravated the rest of them. Yeah. Man. Knock me out. My guns are really not built for close range. <laughs> An erratic deer. Oma. 
almost there. Uh, that was weird. Is somebody else out here hunting? See all the deer just fall down? I missed. And they all fell down at once. And junk. There's a place to build. Huh. Mostly clearing them out because rad stags are unpredictable. See, and they also attract Yagwai. Plus, there's golfers here. And an or an angler, excuse me. Nice. Still another one. Come at me. I'll keep shooting him. Anyway, cross this wasteland and get over to the hunting lodge. Hunting lodge is going to give me a list of animals I'm going to have to kill off. They should all mostly be in the area. Usually not too crazy hard. What kind of liquids do I have? Alcohol. Drinking my money right up. Can't tell if that's another player or not. It is, sort of. It's a raider psycho. Where and who or what are you shooting at? <laughs> I fell through the floor. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get you. Oh, this place is packed today, huh? Well, that was convenient. Did I, did I finish the chat? I think I finished the, the, uh, I must have finished the, um, the critical kills. For the weekly. Yep, I did. Cool. So now I'm just focusing on legendary enemies, huge enemies, which I know where a couple more are. That should be easy enough to find. Doing events in general. And then I need to start working on workshops. I'm not moving my camp just yet. So I don't have to do workshops. When the next one I do, I'm gonna have to build a bunch of crops in it. Down you go. I don't mind coming in here every once in a while. This place is usually pretty good for screws. Pretty good for a screw. Just gotta shut that door. And you know what? I'm gonna go get my hunting requirements now before uh, all these animals disappear. What you got for me? Oh. 
I am grabbing too much crap. I just need to leave. There's no workbench in this place, and I don't think there's one for a little while. I mean, it's down the road, but kind of in a little while. Uh, I did. Talk to the shooting. Oh, wait, no, that's different. I'm sorry. My bad. Uh, kill a feral ghoul anywhere. This is what I want. Stingwing. So toggle that active. This is a hunting mission. Stingwings, Yagwai, Schnallagaster. Surprise, Schnallagasters are all the way over there. There's usually at least one right near where I'm headed. But because there isn't, that means today there's not going to be any Schnallagaster in the region. Oh man, I'm almost out of ammo too. I need a tinkering bench. I'm almost out of this ammo, should I say. I wonder if there's something in the tool shed. I don't think I've ever really checked over here. Nope. I can cook up the meat I have at least. Chicken noodle soup. Is that all I can make with it? Well, dang. At least it's a uh, liquid and a food at the same time. Death claw steaks, bone meat, some rad toad legs, rad toad omelets. I can't imagine a frog egg so big that you can make an omelet out of it, <laughs> or it being good for that matter. I gotta say. Oh, it sounds like someone's moving around around me. Oh. My bad. I thought you were on my side. See, this is the reason why raiders and I don't get along. I can't come over and just say, Hey, you need a hand? We don't call them psychos. We call them scavengers. This game, or the raiders, have some crazy names for their people. Fucking psychos. Alright, let's see if I can, before I waste all my bullets here, let's see if I can pick off a Yagwai. Because there's always one. That's a waste of a bullet. Come at me, Agua. I mean, he's literally coming at me, but I had to talk smack. Just go ahead and grab that off of you real quick. Why do they have loose springs every time? Oh, shit. Not gonna play out well. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, fuck me. Why are there so many bears? <laughs> Health. Health. Oh, fuck me. Broke my armor, armor too? Alright, let me get off of this ledge. And then you'll have to at least come for me. Ha, bitches. Give me a second to charge up. They are coming. Oh, thank God. They lost interest. Don't attract their attention. I only needed one. <laughs> Why is that a thing? Stop bringing that up.
deer. I think there's a couple of workbenches around here. Either in the buildings, one of the buildings, or just on the other side. And yes, I know I just said it.